Look, this is what I, I always say about Manny Pacquiao. Let's just go through Manny Pacquiao's career. Manny Pacquiao is not an undefeated fighter. Manny Pacquiao is the kind of guy that with other certain guys, he has problems. We are all human beings. Manny is only so big. Yes, David beats Goliath, you know, and he's done it, but Styles makes fights. I'm not sure if this really is a great style. Ugas with those long arms, what was difficult for me is when Pacquiao creates those angles, when Pacquiao, he's always small, when Pacquiao ducks, I felt like I didn't have a punch for that. But Ugas' long arms, something about long range fighters, when they throw uppercuts, they can reach lower. They can reach lower in their uppercuts. I think the uppercuts for Ugas is going to be a key to victory. The, box the body shots. We did see Manny Pacquiao fade. We did see me step up in the later rounds. If that happens again, can he dog it out at 42 years old? That's what we're here to see tomorrow night. That's when he punches and ducks. That was like kneecap size, bro. I don't got a punch for that, okay? I'm looking at him over here. I'm looking at him over there. And I'm like... What do I hit this man with? I don't have a punch for that. You know, luckily, I think Ugas might have a punch for that. I was thinking about it. People who have a longer reach, when they throw uppercuts, see, see where my arm is? When people have longer arms, their uppercuts naturally get to go a little lower. I think if Ugas gets into his uppercuts, if he sees that it's working and he lets that be a go-to punch, that he might be able to do something in this fight tomorrow. You, you, you had success exactly. in the later rounds yourself against Pacquiao. Well, what was it that you found like, oh, this this works, works. this works a little bit, or like, were you just finding your? No, spots? it was time. It was time. To, it was time to. Um, I fought. I got knocked down. I was pressing him with my with my body, but not my hands. After we got to the halfway point, I said, you. There's, I don't know how many rounds we won. I don't under, know how many rounds we lost, but you didn't lose every round. So you're in this fight. Let's put ourselves more into this fight. And I did that instantly. So it was all about the mindset and gearing myself up. Ugas's mindset on stage, I don't speak Spanish, but he is making lots of facial expressions. He knows that people think he's a paper champ. He knows that. He wants to prove that he is not that. Come tomorrow night. So and you know what? Speaking of that, break down the keys to victory for Ugas. Uh, a lot of people are saying that body Ugas shots. Is good with body, body shots. Body shots. Exactly. Start from round one. Start from round one. If he faded on me two years ago, he's most likely going to fade on you. Okay. If those body shots, we all know the the uh, philosophy behind body shots. You chop at the tree. You chop at the tree you know so if he's able to do that you know i was doing it a little bit hence that body shot in the 10th round pacquiao was like i can do it too bam you know uh we just gotta see ugas is gonna have to be careful pacquiao's trained himself throughout the years to take advantage of fighters out of position so he's gonna have to do his best to stay solid and not get out of position and and not let manny do what manny does best